Hello everybody and welcome to Liz at Home. Um, today I'm going to be doing a review of the Starjoy colour pencils. I received them a while ago, actually in June, and I've already coloured a picture with them. I'll show you what I coloured. I coloured a picture from Marjorie Sarnat's Creative Kittens. Um, and I did this picture in them. I hope you can see it. Um, and I thought it came out quite nicely and I thought it would be interesting to do the review now that I've done only the one picture and I have also coloured in a swatch chart. This is a lovely swatch chart that I got from the Bliss family, Jennifer and Steve um, Stay, that run the Coloring Bliss website and shop, and they sell um, these super swatching books. Um, let me show you here. This is called Swatch Bliss, and um, I bought a printable PDF of this, so I have printed different swatch charts for myself into this and then I had it ring bound myself. If you happen to live in the United States, uh, it's easy to buy from their shop because they print and they will uh, mail the whole book to you and you get your choice of paper, which is, I think, an absolutely fantastic thing. Living in South Africa, sometimes getting a heavy book like this can be very expensive. So the fact that they have the option to buy a PDF volume is really great for me. They also have different pictures if you feel like being whimsical in your swatching, which is awesome. I'm, I've done one or two of those. I prefer normal swatch things so they come in different sizes and this was a 60 swatch size but the set is 72 pencils so you can see the colors of these Starjoy pencils are actually really nice and bright I've done they sort of shaded from a dark to a light of all 72 and I swatched them as they are numbered now to move on from there, I have the pencils in front of me and they come in this really nice handmade canvas roll up. So I really like that. You can then, I'll open it for you and what comes with it. See and on and on and on and on and on they go. And what comes with it, you get a sharpener. It's a Faber-Castell sharpener. You get so useful a pencil extender and you get a Faber-Castell eraser. I haven't opened those yet because I've used the sharpener. It's actually a remarkably nice sharpener. What is useful to see with me having colored the one picture already is if I put these all more or less even here is that they do sh not sharpen brilliantly. Um, so you can see that they have been used up quite quickly because sometimes when you sharpen them then the point breaks and you end up with an issue. So now I'm going to do again from the Bliss family I have a colored pencil swatch chart and on this it gives you an opportunity to make your own color wheel and I've used a printed color wheel to try and match colors to see how close I can come to actual colors and I came very close with all of them except one I did mark it it was um, this the blue violet there is blue violet and in the pencils I couldn't find an actual blue violet but for the rest I've got really good colors and then I mixed a red and a green to make a brown and I used some gamsol on it. It's not a great brown. 
So then here is the black and the two metallic colors as well. So now I'm going to put these pencils through some tests so that you can have an opportunity to see how they perform. I just want to get them out of the way a little bit so that I can reach properly. With the pencils here now, oh, I'm just going to quickly have a sip of tea today. I'm having my nice yogi tea again and today I'm drinking some lime mint which is yummy. As you know, I absolutely enjoy my tea. There we go. So now in the product testing worksheet, they give you things that you can fill in. The one of the questions is the product line demographic and I don't know where these pencils are made. I've looked I've searched Google flat and I couldn't find. I just find adverts to buy them. So, um, and I also it's how many sets are available, different size sets, and I don't find information on that. All I can find, I found some pictures on Pinterest of these in a tin, but all I'm finding at present on Amazon is this roll up. The cost is very reasonable for these 72 pencils. It's $21.99. And the shape, it's a round pencil, as you can see. It's a fairly normal shape. Um, I don't have a Prismacolor with me, unfortunately, but to me it feels similar to a Prismacolor in the feel of holding it. The information, they don't have a color name on the pencil, but very nicely they're numbered. So you will be able to, if you are trying to color something and you want to take note of which colors you're using, that is very nice and available to you. There is no light fast information available. And the, the question here is does the pencil exterior match the color swatch. So this is A170, and let's see, there is A170, and yes, I think it does. Let's take another random choice. This one is A147, and no, this here is A147. That one doesn't match the, the dipping color. Let's get one more to, to try that. Let's take a pink this is A136, which is there, and that's fairly close. So, yes and no, as we all know that color regularly, it is always best to have a swatch chart to be able to tell really what your pencils, what color your pencils are exactly. So now we're going to see the core usage. Now, in my opinion, in having colored the pencil, the core is a nice soft core. It feels nice when you color with them. Um, excuse me, I'm having a quick glug of tea again. They, they lay down fairly nicely, but they get used up very quickly. So now we're going to blend three colors, yellow, orange, and red. So we want A108 here. Let me find it quickly. A108 and I'm gonna go yellow, orange and red. 130 and 139. And 139 and we're going to see how well they blend. So these are fairly well sharpened and I'm going to color them for you here. So we usually, I usually lay down all the color starting with the lightest one and I blend in thirds, something that I learned also from the Coloring Bliss site 
where Jennifer talks about it as her Jennifer's rule of blending thirds. So there we have the yellow. Then we're going to go over three quarters of it with orange. And you're going to see whether we can blend the colors nicely or not with the pencils. I'm not coloring at my best because I want to not take up hours on each little square. I do like this color mix. It looks like a nice sunset. Yellow and orange and lightly at the end there. And then we're going to go over the, with the yellow again to blend that in. And then red for a third. Excuse the banging. It's the stool I'm sitting on which makes a big noise. So blending that. I'm using Spring Hill cardstock and it's a vellum cardstock so it is fairly textured because I was I knew I was going to be doing colour pencils and colour pencils, dry media, enjoy a more textured cardstock. This is a really nice cardstock for coloured pencils. I bought it on Amazon. I'll put a link to both the cardstock and the Colouring Bliss shop for you in the more info bit in the comments. While I'm talking about this, Please, if you haven't already done so, like the video if you have enjoyed it. And if you would like to subscribe to my channel, I would be so thrilled. Your liking and subscribing and commenting uh, really help the channel and help me be able to make more videos. So I appreciate it so much when people take the trouble. I'm reaching close to my first hundred subscribers now and I was thinking of having a giveaway prize of the person that has made the most comments when I get to a hundred subscribers and I thought of making the giveaway a ten dollar either choice either a book depository voucher or a ten dollar amazon.com voucher so it would be up to you that would be United States dollars so now we have, so I think that's not a bad blend at all for people that are wondering how these blend. Now we're going to do from blue to yellow and we're going to blend them with colorless mineral spirits. So this is the true blue, the closest one. Where is the blue? 120, I think it's this one. and yellow and see if we get a nice green oops just gone out the lines I'm going to do this it's so relaxing what fun isn't it lovely to have pencils play with art things Has anybody else tried these pencils? I'd love to hear your opinion of them if you have. I really would. I'd like to know what you think of them and if you'd like to share a photo of a picture you've colored with them, that would be great. Wait, now I think I've done this wrong. So I was supposed to go from blue to yellow and not do the whole thing like this. I need a pair of scissors to undo this eraser. Was not concentrating. So I'm just quickly undoing this eraser and opening it so we can see how it works. Don't think I've used a blue eraser before. Looks quite pretty. There 
we go. Oh. There we are. I just want to erase some of the thing, which is another one of the tests, interestingly enough, is to see how well the pencils erase. So going, this erase is not bad. So going from the blue and then to the yellow, let's see how well the color goes and whether we get a nice green. It does. That's a lovely green, even without the odorless mineral spirits. So I'm gonna go with some blue again. Now the pencil, as you can see, the core, don't know how well you see if you see it better against the white there. The core gets used up very quickly. I'm going to quickly sharpen this blue using their sharpener, which works fairly well. I saw something that somebody had colored in one of the coloring groups using these pencils and I really liked it and that's how I heard about them. And I'm a sucker for new pencils. I love getting new pencils. So I thought I'd give them a try and I'm enjoying them now with this review and testing them out again. Yeah, I think that's blended very well from the one to the other, even without the mineral spirits. Now I'm going to use some Gamzol. I've got some Gamzol in this teeny little dropper bottle and I use a paintbrush with it. I just find that's the way that at present I'm enjoying using the most. And the Gamzol is an odorless mineral spirits and what it does is it melts away the fillers and things used to bind the pigment and so it helps to melt that pigment into the paper. I try to clean the brush a little bit and I'm going to use the mineral spirits here on the blue. And you can see the difference once that's gone on. I haven't cleaned the brush very well from the yellow. So when that's dried, you'll see quite nicely how that works. Now we're going to go from red to blue and we're going to then put the white pencil on top and see how it does. So by blending, we're going to try and blend from red to blue which as you can see, if you look at the color wheel here, it's, if you go from red, it's uh, um, to blue, it falls in a kind of the first part of a triadic color scheme. So you should be able to go quite well. Um, and you should land up with a bit of a purple where the two go over each other. So I'm doing a very light layer of red here and especially light in the middle here. And then I'm going to go over it with the blue. you get quite a nice blend if you if I did lots and lots of layers that would work out very well at the end I need to fill this in here a bit more it's 
second layer blending over the blue there. So actually try this color blend in one of my pictures. I very seldom do this. I always seem to stick to what is fairly safe. I'm not all that confident in color choices. I need to extend myself and try different things. There we go, from the red to the blue, and now to see how they blend together using the white. And I'm going to use the Starjoy white pencil. I'm just going to sharpen it quickly so that we get a nice sharp point. I always find with blending it works best with a sharp point. Hope it doesn't all break. So I'm not using a very heavy pressure at the beginning now and then I'll go in with a heavier pressure. Going over it once and now I'm going with a heavy pressure. And I think the blend is quite good. You can get rid of, I only did two or three layers of the blue so there's a lot of white of the paper showing through but you can get it down. But now from sharp to here you can see the core has worn down. Now I'm going to do just one little thing here showing how it erases. So I'm going to do a little bit. I think I'm, instead of doing on that I'm going to erase over the red And it is quite, it erases, it seems to be quite easy to erase. And then over the blue. Then another test to check out, let me clean that up here, is how dark the black is. So to see how the black value is, I've put a black Copic marker there, which is a deep black. And to see whether this comes out as a gray or a deep black. And oh, I think it's got a great black value. Now this is just using a very heavy pressure. That's a very good deep value. And then how opaque are the pencils? Are they visible on black? So let's see with the white. That is quite an opaque one, the yellow, fairly opaque, blue, probably not, oh it is, you can see it, and the red, so you would, I wouldn't say they're exciting on the black, let's see what the gold looks like on the black, the gold and the silver, because often the metallics show up nicely on black. So the gold shows up very nicely and the silver also beautifully and I also want to try this kind of lime green fair not great all right so let's see what happens when you layer three colors from blue to yellow to brown so I'm going to take a normal brown which has been sharpened away and I'm going to just do this in the blue and then yellow Uh, I think this is actually to see if we get brown. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Fair, a fair brown. So there we are. Those are the tests that I wanted to do. 
I'm not going to sharpen the pencils now because you can see what the core usage is like. There's a full-sized pencil and after one picture and some problems with sharpening, they got used very quickly. They blend well. They raise well. The feel of them is very pleasant to use. They don't have a funny smell or anything like that. The barrel is, I measured it because there's nothing written on the pencil, six millimeters and the core is three millimeters. I think I'm correct. I'm not the world's best anything to do with maths. Uh, but I would recommend these as a low cost pencil if you're looking for something exciting then you feel like new pencils but your budget is not feeling particularly healthy then I would recommend really recommend these as fun I would also recommend them for children at school I think they would be a fantastic gift for a, a, a middle school child to use I think they could turn out super art and feel very spoiled to have a really classy looking wrap and these nice pencils inside. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope to see you around the corner in the next one. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.